This graphics card has four 8-pin power connectors. And it is the most powerful graphics card that has ever existed. Because I can't find a single graphics card besides its predecessor that has four 8-pin power connectors. Yeah, this thing is pretty freaking powerful. So you're probably wondering what the hell it is. And this, my friends, is the Power Color Devil 13. And yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. What actually is this behemoth of a card? Well, as I said, it is the Devil 13, but more specifically, it is an R9 390X2. A card that, well, according to AMD, doesn't actually exist. Yes, that's correct. AMD did not manufacture this card. This, much like the Devil 13 R9 290X2 that came before it, was entirely power color doing what power color does. Taking a bunch of AMD shit, shoving it all together, putting four eight pins on it, and calling it a day. Now, if you don't know, AMD did make a similar card. This, oh, hold on, how do I, here we go, is the R9 295X2. AMD's attempt at an ultimate dual GPU solution way back when the R9 290X came out. It's basically two R9 290s on a single GPU, and it's liquid cooled because it basically has to be. Now this card only has two 8 pins, whilst Power Color's Devil 13 R9 290X2 version had four 8 pins as well, but that's the whole thing I don't care to explain or care to learn, so let's just talk about this card. Now, this card has four 8 pins, and in theory, it may actually need them. With each R9 390X being able to draw upwards of 360 watts of peak power. So yeah, the four 8 pins on here aren't just for show, because these are two overclocked 390Xs. And this is probably, by modern standards, the most inefficient way to get two 390Xs worth of performance. I fucking love this card. I love it so much. So, I hope you guys can see why I've... <laughs> fucking hell. So, I hope you guys can see why I've decided to call this thing the most powerful graphics card that's ever been released. Find me a card, a single graphics card, that draws more power and has more 8-pin connectors. And is signed by Roy Taylor, the corporate vice president of AMD. Oh, yeah, who fucking cares? Okay, apparently he works at Riff Digital Dynamic Brand Integration. Oh man, he's such a loser. Someone contact Lisa Sue and tell her to send me an email. Now, normally at this part of the video, I would put this thing in a test bench, boot it up and try playing some games on it or something similar. But unfortunately, as previously mentioned, this card can probably draw at peak load 700 watts alone and none of my currently free power supplies either a have four eight pins or b can handle a combined power draw of over 700 watt without tripping their protections and probably shortening the lifespan of the power supply in the process so I'm not going to do that. But thankfully, about a week and a half ago, before I even got my hands on this card, which, trust me, was a pain, these things are not easy to find. Go right now. Go look for one. Tell me if you can see one you can actually buy for not a shit ton of money. They're not on eBay, and if they ever are, they're usually bought up very quickly. I got very lucky when I was able to find this one, and, and I'm very excited to do more content on this. Stay tuned for my build called... The Breaker Finder Part 2. So back to the power supply. I contacted Silverstone about a week and a half ago about them possibly sending me over one of their insane 1500 watt units. And their response was, why the hell do you need it? And yes, we're sending one right away. So that should be here by the end of the week and I'll be able to get a second video out testing this unit and hopefully we can build the Breaker Finder Part 2. I'm pretty sure this card alone can beat the combined power draw of my Triple Vega 64 system, but only time will tell. My goal is to get two of these and to make a PC that literally trips a breaker every time it's turned on. Oh, I can only dream, can't I? But that's really all I have for the video for you guys today. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed a quick look 
at the most powerful GPU to ever exist. And I hope you'll stay tuned for my follow-up video where I get to test this thing and build a sick system with it, but I just I could have waited for the power supply to make this video, but I really wanted to show you guys this card because I've been super excited to work with it, and man, I'm excited to test it. Now, I will of course put on my test bench and give it a boot test before filming an actual video on it and stuff like that to make sure it works, but I'll save all the content and stuff and all the testing for the next video when I have a actual power supply that can handle this thing, considering that all of my other units are either low wattage or in systems already. So, hope you guys kind of enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Dude, the Devil 13, that's such a cool fucking name. Like, you, you just call the card the Devil 13. Like, why don't they call everything uh, the fucking massive cock and balls 13? Like, dude, NVIDIA and AMD, get your shit together. Intel's got to call their fucking things the Penetrator 69. Like, uh, they're all sexual. I want to fuck graphics cards.